In this video, we're going to talk about units and unit conversions. It won't be a very long video. Uh, we need to say a few words about what kind of unit system we're going to use in this course. We'll switch between the SI system, or the metric system, as well as the English system, and occasionally the British gravitational system. These two are similar to one another. Unfortunately, in the United States, we still use English units frequently. Uh, it just makes unit conversions harder. Um, the rest of the world uses the metric system, where, of course, the unit conversions are a lot easier. But anyway, we have to deal with both. So when we talk about units, first thing we'll talk about are dimensions. So that's given in this leftmost column. Dimensions are the physical quantities that we're interested in, like length, time, mass, force, temperature, whatever you want. So these are the physical quantities, and then units attach some size to those physical quantities. So for the metric system, when we talk about a length, the standard unit is a meter. In the British and English systems, we use the foot. For time, it's uh, seconds across the board here. Everybody uses seconds. For mass, in the metric system, we have the kilogram. British gravitational, we use the slug. And in the English system, it's pound mass. And I like to put a subscript M on the LB there to indicate pounds mass. Often that M is just not given, it's just LB. And then we have for force, uh, the SI system is a Newton. British gravitational and English systems is the pound force. And then you see the subscript F to indicate pounds force. So for unit conversions, I, I won't go through any of the metric unit conversions or should all be familiar with that. But uh, for the British gravitational and English uh, system of units, uh, Google is your friend here. You can go ahead and uh, Google what the unit conversions are, or if you have a table available, you can look at those. I'll give you just a few unit conversions here just to make life easy for you. And they involve the switch between mass and force. So one pound force is the same as one slug foot per second squared. So that's the British gravitational system. So that's a convenient unit conversion. And then for the English system, one pound force is 32.2 .2 pounds mass feet per second squared. So if you can remember those, that'll make life easier for you when you do your unit conversions in the, uh, in the English and British systems. By the way, for the metric system, there's unfortunately, people use the term kilograms force would be like kgf kilograms force and that conversion is 9.81 newtons i hate to even give this because it, it ruins a perfectly good system of units uh, don't use kilograms force use newtons when you want to use a force for the metric system use newtons if you want a mass use kilograms don't don't do this kilograms force but i only give it to you because it does show up people do sometimes uh, use that unit. Okay, so let me uh, talk next about dimensional homogeneity. The, the idea here is that you can't add apples and oranges. Okay, so if I gave you, you know, 10 kilograms plus 20 degrees Celsius is equal to 30, um, 30 newtons, that doesn't make any sense at all, right? Even though you have the magnitudes correct, 20, 10 plus 20 is equals 30, the units don't make any sense, right? So this is the concept of dimensional homogeneity. All the units have to match. You, can't, you can only add kilograms to kilograms. You can only add degrees Celsius to degrees Celsius, newtons to newtons, okay? So this equation would be wrong because the units don't make up. It's not, they don't make, they don't uh, work out. The, uh, it's not dimensionally homogen, homogeneous, oh, homogeneous, pardon me. Similarly, the, the magnitudes of the numbers have to work out. If I wrote 10 kilograms plus 20 kilograms equals 40 kilograms, well, then it's dimensionally homogene homogeneous, tripping up on that word, but the numbers don't work out, right? 10 plus 20 does not equal 40, so that doesn't work either. either. So you have to have both simultaneous. You have to have the units work out as well as the magnitudes. Right? And this is a concept you've been familiar with since high school, but I just repeat it here because it's going to be a concept we'll use later in the course when we talk about dimensional analysis. So make sure that the units work out and the magnitudes work out. Okay. 
And related to that, one other thing is I want you to get into the practice of writing down units associated with every magnitude that you're dealing with. So for, let's say I had a, uh, the following equation. I had a, a mass of one pound mass and gravity is 32.2 feet per second squared. And I want to calculate the weight, mg. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to write 1 times 32.2, and then that suddenly equals 1 pound force. Don't do it that way. It's very confusing. You don't have the units attached to the numbers, and then you don't, here they're not, I'm not showing the unit conversion. So it's just very hard to follow and it's easy to make mistakes. So don't do it that way. Instead, what you want to do is you want to write the magnitude with the units, so one pound mass times 32.2 feet per second squared. So I'm showing the, the units with every quantity I write down. And then that'll give me 32.2 pounds mass feet per second squared, and then show the unit conversion. So we know just from a moment ago that one pound force is 32.2 pounds mass feet per second squared. We just worked that out, or I just gave it to you moments ago. And then that allows us to write down one pound force. Okay, so this is the, the best, better way of writing stuff down. You're putting the units with the quantity, and then you're showing the actual unit conversion and then the final answer. It's just a lot clearer to everyone else who's looking at it, and then you're less likely to make mistakes because you can quickly see, for example, oh, you know, the, the force, the, the, the feet and the second squared and pounds mass, they all cancel out. Um, you know, it's, it's just easier to check your work. Whereas if you do it this way over here, it's just, uh, it's going to be harder to, to figure out what you did, you know, both for yourself and for someone else to look at. All right, so I'll go ahead and end it there. I think I've covered everything I need to with unit conversions.